Hey YouTube, I'm here to review the penultimate episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, so th this episode ties into Age of Ultron and it sort of features the aftermath of, um, of what happened in Age of Ultron. So for those of you who have gone to see the movie, this connects perfectly with the movie. Um, and it's very much a continuation of these stories. Sorry guys, um, I'm a bit uncomfortable. Um, okay, so, we're gonna tr Sorry, um, you're gonna have to excuse me, guys. I'm very, very tired and, yeah, and very, very stressed. Um, so you're gonna have to excuse me. I'm all over the place. Um, okay. Well, first off, I loved the connection to Age of Ultron. Um, and I loved how, um, Phil Coulson has clearly stated that Data Protocol is all connected to the Avengers. And basically what Data Protocol is revealed to be is it, it is it's revealed to be the Hell Carrier that we see in Age of Ultron. And that was a pretty cool reveal. Um, it was pretty cool to see um, that connect up with each other. I was a bit disappointed that we didn't get to see Nick Fury. Um, I really, really wanted to see Nick Fury at least appear for like a small cameo for this, you know, for this episode to basically, you know, you know, to basically, um, to basically say. It's time we use the the Hell Carrier and brought Shield back to the forefront. And what I still don't understand is how Phil Coulson is still the director of Shield. Because surely Nick Fury is the director of Shield. Like, is Nick Fury still the director of Shield? That's very very confusing. Um. So I'm not too sure who's the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and who's not. Especially as the last episode established that when Nick Fury returned, he would be the director. It's it's very, very confusing. Um, but basically, all this episode basically is, story-wise, is basically establishing a war between the Inhumans and S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, and basically Gonzalez in this episode goes to visit Sky's mother and uh, things go south and this leads to basically a brewing war between the Inhumans and S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, Sky's mother has become a very 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 interesting and it's sort of very interesting about how similar that Inhumans is becoming um, in regards to the X-Men. Um, there are many, many different parallels between the X-Men and the Inhumans group. Um, and I do sort of feel like the Inhumans are becoming the new X-Men for this continuity. And it's very interesting to see, you know, you know, to see that because, again, a lot of this plays into, um, into the Index. And I think the Index is basically the early version of the Superhuman Registration Act that we're going to be seeing in Marvel in Captain America Civil War. And I do find that very, very interesting. Um, that this movie is basically setting the Superhuman Registration Act for that movie. Um, and, and it is 
kind of making the show more relevant. Um, because I believe I mentioned that last episode and in my Avengers Age of Ultron reviews about how relevant, um, about how relevant, um, Agents for S.H.I.E.L.D. is becoming moving forward. Um, because I'm really, really afraid that Agents for S.H.I.E.L.D. is just going to be, is just going to continue to become more and more irrelevant moving forward. Um, we also do get to see Grant Ward, he makes a return in this, in this, um, episode. And basically ta teams up with Agent 33 to kidnap, um, Mockingbird, um, Bobby character. And that's going to be very interesting to see where that development leads. Other than that, guys, there's not really a lot to say about this, this, this episode. Um, it's a very, very good episode, I have to say. Um, I like, it's not as good as Flash, um, but, and it's not as good as Gotham, but it is a very, very good episode. Anyway guys, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna sign off here. Um, I know I haven't done the, done the, um, Game of Thrones review, um, I will try and get that done today or tomorrow, um, again, I'm having a bit of a shitty week, um, and I'm having just, and I'm having just a very busy week as well, it, basically guys, it's a busy, shitty week, um, but I will try and do my best to get the Game of Thrones review out. If I haven't done it, um, this week, then I'm probably not going to continue with the Game of Thrones review. But I'm going to try my best to get you that review. Anyway guys, I'm, I'm rambling, so I'm going to leave. I'm Robin Axe one here, and stay tuned for the Arrow review coming tomorrow, and I... And again, I'm going to try and get you that, um, review for Game of Thrones. Bye.